Hey guys, welcome to another video and as promised, we've begun with daily uploads and we've been missing K20 Pro into the action on this channel. So here it is and this is going to be special because this is the beginning of officially Android 11 videos, custom ROMs on K20 Pro on smartphone tutorials. But before we actually get into the video, well, as you know from yesterday's video, if you have not watched it already, please go ahead and watch it. It's an amazing video about the setup and everything. You can join memberships on smartphone tutorials by supporting us. You can click on the join button. Memberships start at 29 rupees and go all the way up to 159. There are a lot of different perks. Everything is mentioned in the description of this particular video. So please subscribe, share and please support us as much as you can. Now in today's video, we are going to install MSM Extended, which is an Android 11 based custom ROM. We will first have a look at the change log and then we will install it and have a first impression of it. Then I'll be using it for a day and I'll be sharing a full review. But before we do all of that, as I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, right off the bat, please go ahead and back up all the information on your phone. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. These two things are very, very critical. Now the install method that I follow, I make sure I format everything from the internal storage. So what that does is that avoids any encryption, decryption issues. And that is the reason you don't see me flashing DFE or the pass reset zip. I'll make a dedicated video about that later. But for now, we will be wiping the internal storage and everything on this phone to have a clean install, especially when we are moving from Android 10 to Android 11. So let's first go ahead and have a look at the change log of MSM extended based on Android 11. What do they have to say? So here we have it. MSM Extended XR release version 2.0 device change log. This is the initial official build rebased on Abhishek's tree. So great about that. Enforcing build, add custom doors, fix voice over Wi-Fi. Very good. Vibration intensity improvement, add multi-user support, add battery health overlays, add overlay to adjust CPU info, Enable blurs under dev option, deleted snap camera, added Gcam Go, so that is a good thing. Add tethering overlay from Lineage OS and you do have touch controls and a you know thermal profile for gaming and benchmarks as well. So that's about the device change log that we have over here. And you do have the ROM change log as well if you really want to go ahead and check that. But yes, MSM Extended is a good custom ROM. I have been using it for a while. So what are we going to need here? We'll just need three files. Of course, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, a K20 Pro, and you should have a custom recovery installed. Now, considering that all of that is ready, you can actually go ahead and grab one of these with three files on there. One of them being the vendor firmware for your device. If you are from India, 12.0.3.0. And if you're from any other region, the relevant vendor firmware should be available. And you need the ROM and you need the G apps. We are using the core G apps that is just 80 to 90 megs. And this is the vanilla build that we are going to try. So to begin with, what we'll do first, I have done the backup and everything. So we will just reboot into Orange Fox TWRP over here. Okay, and while we do that, I will go ahead and connect the OTG cable because my files are on there. All right, so we are in TWRP. We will go to manage partitions, select data, tick mark, format data, type in yes. Okay, now as I said, when you do this, everything on your internal storage gets wiped. So please back up everything because I'm pretty sure if this phone is your daily driver, you would be having a lot of important information. Once that is done, you need to go to reboot and reboot back directly into recovery. All right. Now, once that is done, you'll go to wipe and wipe everything, including internal storage. So the vendor as well, Now, because we are moving to Android 11, we are going to reflash the vendor. If you are on the latest vendor, you know, you can skip that step and you can it's okay if you don't wipe the vendor. So select your OTG drive or wherever the files are. So this is the sequence that we will be following to flash this particular ROM. So first the vendor and then the ROM. 
and then the G apps. So vendor, ROM and G apps. Now, after flashing G apps, you can actually go ahead and flash Majisk. You can actually go ahead and flash DFE, that is disable force encryptions. All those files are completely up to you. This is Android 11, so it's the first time I'm trying Android 11 on this particular phone. So let's see how that goes. Um, I've heard good things about it. So, you know, in the next one or two weeks, whatever videos are gonna come your way towards the K20 Pro and even the Poco F1 for that matter, most of them will be centered around Android 11 because that is going to be the next big thing. So let's wait for these three files to be flashed. It will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see over here, everything flashed, so wipe cache. And now we can successfully reboot to system. So it'll be interesting to see if they've made any change to their boot animation when it comes to the Android 11 version. And honestly, I am really excited because now I have two devices which are, oh, okay. Well, this looks nice. This is sort of a good boot animation, I must say. Uh, you know, across all of these, I mean, I mean, every alternate day or every single day, I'm flashing a new ROM. So yeah, this is something that gets me excited like boot animation yeah be good anyways <laughs> let's wait for the rom to boot up and uh, we'll quickly navigate around the rom and see what are the features and if we get any force closures or not or should you use it as a daily driver and uh, yeah i'm just talking so that this thing finishes booting i was thinking it would and yes it has so i'll quickly skip the setup part of it Oh, okay, you don't need to do that in Android 11. Uh, to start with, yeah, the, that wallpaper looks great. Uh, that's that's a good start. So uh, I don't know what the status of Android 11 is right now, but uh, yeah, I didn't get the setup screen, which is uh, not exactly a bummer, but yeah, we're fine with that. So yeah, first look, uh, the notification drawer is all colorful. Uh, something different than, you know, compared to what I've seen in uh, different custom ROMs. So let's quickly go to settings over here. Let's disable this auto brightness and go to settings here. Yeah, it feels fluid. It is definitely smooth the way it is supposed to be on all the other custom ROMs. And uh, let's go to about phone here. What do we have here? Hmm. So yeah, Redmi K20 Pro, that is the name of the maintainer. That's all the information about the ROM and its development team. So thank you, good job there. Firmware information, Android 11. There you have it. Security patch, November 5th, 2020. So it looks great. And as mentioned in the change log, you do have uh, Gcam Go. And I believe that works just fine. Let's pop up the front camera and see. Yeah, that looks great. So apart from that, yeah. You can see the fluidity over here. I recently made a video about the 70 Hertz mod for this particular device. But I'll tell you, as in when, you know, the Android versions are increasing and stuff, these things are just getting better. Uh, I don't know what launcher this is. Let's see here, home settings. Uh, yeah, this is just, just some random launcher over here. And uh, yeah, I think we'll have to configure the APNs to get the data. But uh, if we call 198 from our SIM, do we have call recording? Yep, we have call recording. So that's good. Call recording is there. I'm pretty sure Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi calling and stuff like that should be working. And from the first impressions, you just have like, what, 13 applications, which is really, really great. Another neat addition is you do have YouTube Vanced pre-installed. Uh, yep. It's, it's good because it doesn't give you ads, but not good, not good for us. Support us, please. Don't, don't use YouTube Vanced. <laughs> Anyways, just kidding. YouTube Vanced is good. It saves your time if you don't like watching ads. So yeah, overall, pretty smooth and slick experience. Uh, we're not going to look at the features right now because I am going to be using this as my daily and we will have a video coming up on Poco F1 tomorrow. So day after tomorrow, the review, hopefully for this particular ROM, should be going live on the K20 Pro. Now let me know in the comments section, what do you think of this particular ROM? It is the latest version of Android with the latest security patch and some colorful features. I really hope you like it. And until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, hit the join button, goodbye.